2022 is going to be a great year for continuing education. So mark your calendars, grab your pencils and your paper if you're not from the 90s, early 2000s, maybe grab your digital calendars, move your weddings, your bar mitzvahs, your beach trips. It's going to be worth it. Trust me. First up with Ryan Kalkbrenner and Dr. Abhinav Yadav, or AB, is blood flow restriction. And that's in April. In June, we've got Therapeutic Neuroscience Education with Adrian Liu. In July, Sue Whitney comes to us to drop some concussion rehab knowledge bombs on us. And last but not least, in September, we've got Jared Vagie for Athlete Movement Systems. Education is the difference, guys. Mark your calendars. Now, for those of you that don't mind sticking around for a little, little bit, I'm going to tell you about why I think each of these courses is going to make a difference. So first... Blood flow restriction, it's a game changer. Uh, I had two patients today that were just shocked at how much better their knee got um, and even their back because they were able to load their body without irritating a joint, uh, even the joint downstream or even upstream, okay? So these guys, Ryan and AB, are nerds. They're homegrown, uh, farm-raised organic TJC beef. They know their stuff. They've taken the top courses on this, and they're going to distill this down for you in an awesome blended learning model. We've already recorded the skills videos, lecture videos coming, and we've got a great in-person one-day intensive for you guys in April. Don't miss out on this course. Next, t and &E, our therapeutic neuroscience education. About 10 years ago, we started seeing this being used in clinical practice a lot. And anyone that had chronic pain, t and &E got dropped on them. And frankly, it just didn't work. And the research showed that it didn't necessarily work. Um, so what we're starting to see now is that you have to apply this to the right patient in the right way at the right time. And so you need someone with some deep knowledge on how to leverage this very particular skill set. And maybe someone who's published over 50 papers on the topic, has a PhD in t and &E, is a director of the, of the fellowship program for EIM on pain science. And by the way, he's got a hilarious personality and a great accent, South African. So, you know, don't want to miss this one. Concussion rehab. So ever since all the, the research on NFLs and concussions started coming out, we started taking a deeper look, especially in the military, too. Sue Whitney's been doing this for over 25 years. She's got over 150 papers on concussion, vestibular rehab, falls, balance. She's a great teacher. She's an East Coaster up at UPIT. She's a co-director of that PT program, too. I don't know how she has time to sleep, but we brought her out before as well. And we brought Adrian Liu out as well twice. And those are all heavy hitter courses. It's been years since we brought Adrian Liu out. I can't wait to see his updates. And I can't wait to see this focus on concussion rehab and how that's going to impact your neck pain patients, your headache patients, uh, sports injuries, as well as uh, whiplash and, and falls. So this is, you know, what I kind of... Uh, tell folks all the time, and I've learned myself, is that good orthopedic PTs are good at neuro and vice versa. So I don't know about you, but I'm really excited about boning up on my neuro. So come join us in July. And finally, we've got Jared Veggie. This is our latest course. I'm very excited about this course. Jared is a really interesting guy, worked with all kinds of Olympic athletes, gold medalists, professional athletes, the Chinese Olympic national team for track and field, the U.S., gymnastics, track and field, international weightlifting competi competitions. He's a climbing, they call him the climbing doctor. He's published in magazines all the time. He's also a USC uh, residency grad, and he did a fellowship in movement systems uh, back in 2013. So this, this guy has really developed an ability to hone an efficient framework for evaluating athletic movement. So this isn't your FM, FMS, SFMA course. This is using a system, but using foundational clinical reasoning and looking at athletic movements. So we've got it broken up into two parts, an upper extremity part and lower extremity. So we've got throwing, swimming, hitting, you know, volleyball, even tennis, uh, in a little bit of climbing and looking at these as movement systems, as movement patterns. Um, and then we're going to go down to lower extremity. You're going to look at sprinting, cutting, pivoting, jumping, and running. And so we're going to apply this framework to those movement patterns that we see most commonly with athletes. So very, very excited about this course. And so, you know, just to kind of wrap things up, you know, if you want to get warmed up because you're super excited, 
you can go on MedBridge and you can get some teasers. But I want you to understand that this is not a, your MedBridge course. This is unique. These courses are curated for you, for our business model, you know, our practice model. Um, and they're going to go deeper on certain topics that we want to go deeper on. And ultimately, an online course, as much as I love online courses as a supplement, it, it just doesn't replace getting the reps in lab, having real-time feedback from these world-renowned instructors, interacting with your peers. Let's just be honest. It's just more fun. So, you know, I can't wait for uh, 2022, and I hope you also mark your calendars because education is the difference. Thank <laughs> you.